Joseph Wright is really going to take these Enlightenment ideas and apply them to art. To him, technology and science will begin to fuel the arts. His hallmark is the use of a single light source within the image, frequently tied to some form of scientific inquiry or discovery. The piece we're looking at is a philosopher giving a lecture at the orrery. So what we have in the piece is a single candle which lights the entire work, the candle in this case representing the sun in the orrery which is a model of the solar system. And of course there's a lot of differences with the Rococo. We see something intellectual, we see a group of non-aristocratic people, and there's no pointless nudity with small children. Now, an orrery, as we see here, is again, as I said, a model of the solar system, incorporating the correct relative velocities and a light to represent the sun. In the painting, what we would have is our philosopher, and philosopher at the time meant scientist. Uh, even when you go back to the Greeks, half of philosophy was really science and scientific inquiry. By the time you get to the American Revolutionary War and later, they start to be known as natural philosophers, and eventually the term changes to scientist. But he's giving this lecture, and we have the orrery here, that single candlelight shining throughout the room, highlighting the children taking an interest in science, something you have never seen prior to the Enlightenment. The wonders of science seem to mesmerize everyone in the room, most especially those two children. Now, the work was well thought of because it raised this, sorry, it raised the theories and ideas of the Industrial Revolution, more to the point, the Enlightenment, to the status of history painting. So as we look at it, he's using a lot of ideas that we've seen in the past. From the Baroque, we have the dramatic lighting and ambiguous background. From the Renaissance, we have the interest in the intellectual, especially from the Italian Renaissance. And so he's taking all these ideas, putting them together, and creating something that is arguably the antithesis of the Rococo, giving us people who are interested in knowledge as opposed to interested simply in entertainment or focusing on theology. And by the way, the subject of religion and theology, you'll notice, comes up less and less as we move forward. That's in large part because of the Enlightenment and the views that it holds as almost sacred, to borrow the term, the idea of observation over faith.